Welcome back friends. The next important tool we are going to see in this video is 5S. 5S is defined as a lean methodology and that results in the workplace that is clean, uncluttered, safe to work and well organized to help reduce waste and optimize productivity. Now let's understand what are these 5S in detail along with their English meaning and definitions. The first S is SERI. The English meaning of this word is SORT. In this first step of 5S, we are going to eliminate whatever is not needed by separating the needed tools, parts and instructions from the unneeded materials. In short, we are going to segregate what is needed and what is not needed. The second S is set on. The meaning of set on is set in order. In this step, whatever needed from the first step, we are going to organize them. And this is done by neatly arranging and identifying parts and tools for ease of use. In short, we are going to identify the place for everything and ensuring that everything is in its place. The third step is SESO. The meaning of SESO is shine. In this step, we are going to clean the work area by conducting a cleanup campaign. The fourth S is SEKETSO. Its meaning is standardized. In this step, we are going to schedule the regular cleaning and maintenance by conducting SERI, SET ON and SESO regularly. And the last step is SITSUKE. This is talking about the self-discipline also called as SUSTAIN. In this step, we are going to focus on the system to make 5S as a way of life. And this will be achieved by creating the awareness as well as following the all 4S which I have mentioned earlier. Now, let's understand the steps in implementation of 5S in further details. Before to start the implementation of 5S, we need to create the team. And this is important to continuously carry out the 5S activities. Selection of team plays a very important role in the success of 5S implementation. Once you select the team, then divide the entire your organization into multiple areas. These areas are called as a 5S zones. And we can define the boundaries for each of these zones so that identification and tracking of the 5S progress will be easier. Once you select the teams for the 5S implementation, as well as identify the different zones in the organization, then the next step is define the 5S red tag area. This is the area where we can keep the unwanted and unidentified material. In this area, we are also going to maintain the 5S red tag worksheet in which we are going to keep the entries of all these materials. After that, we are going to set the frequency on which the entire leadership team or the working team will be going to that red tag area and there will be the final decision regarding whether that material is required for the any particular department or should we scrap it. The next step after definition of the red tag area is sorting. It means we are going through all the materials, tools, etc. into the department or the workplace and categorize those tools and materials into the needed and not needed items. Later on, it can be discarded or can be moved to the other department which can use it. And whatever needed, we are going to keep them as it is. Please note that when we are doing the sorting activity, the before pictures must be taken so that we can compare what is a before situation and what is after situation. This is very important to identify the actual benefits of 5S implementation. The next step is set in order. In this step, we are going to ensure that there should be a place for everything and everything should be on its place. All the tools, materials or parts which are needed to the work has a designated place and this is the only place it should go. The next step is shine. In this step, we will be cleaning the entire work environment. Environment should be clean including floors, workplaces, walls and equipment. If any of the equipment or wall is required the painting, then there should be requirement of extra time for that activity. The fourth S is standardize. This is a very important step and in this step, we are going to place the rules and policies that supports the implementation of first three years. The standardization means the system should be followed in the same way at multiple times by anyone. In other words, there is a complete clarity how to do the particular activity. Let's take an example of McDonald burger. It tests all over the world. They have standardized their processes so that they can make the same test of the burger at every single time across the world. For standardization, we are going to create the 5S audit checklist and audit schedule. With the help of this 5S audit and results, we are also going to identify whether there is improvement in the 5S activity or not. 
With the help of this auditing and 5A score, we are going to identify which area or which zone is performing very well in 5S implementation. We can also identify the areas which are not performing well in 5S implementation. And we can allot extra resources to support them. The last S in the 5S is sustain. This is a very important 5S step and that will implant the self-discipline and culture and that will sustain the 5S program. Over the period of time, a 5S system may become less effective due to feeling of self-satisfaction. And therefore, to sustain a 5S system, you must change the culture of employees and sometimes the company. The participation of the employees is very much important in this program and that's why we can use cross audits, awards and recognition to sustain the system. This is all about 5S. In recent modifications of the 5S program, there are two more S which are added to this and that is safety and spirit. Why safety has added to this 5S? This is added to 5S to ensure focus attention on the safety during implementation of the entire 5S activities. And it consists of safety and health of the employees as well as environment. And the second S which is added later on is spirit. It is the invisible force which has a high impact on the will of the employees. As we had seen, involvement from the all employees of the organization is very important for successful implementation of the 5S. It is an amount of motivation to the task. As we know, spirit comes from the motivation. Spirit is also a reflection of organization culture. And that's why spirit is very important to achieve as well as maintain the results. I am going to explain some of the important elements of the spirit. It talks about respect to individuals, appreciation, how we are going to appreciate your employees, facilities offered to employees, salaries, opportunities offered, career plan, as well as work balance. The last two years which are added to the first five years makes this program more effective. This is all about seven years. At the end of this video, please note down what is your understanding from this entire video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.